The worst coral bleaching event ever recorded has taken place on the Great Barrier Reef. Most of the damage is in the northernmost pristine part of the natural wonder. Scientists say it will take more than a decade to recover. This is what scientists describe as the red zone, a 700 kilometre stretch of coral north of Port Douglas that's lost its colour. That's a, an enormous loss of corals, millions of corals, at a scale that dwarfs uh, even a Category 5 cyclone. After an ambitious project to examine 2,300 kilometres of the reef, today a map has been released to give perspective. 67% of the most pristine part is dead. It's certainly uh, the, the largest in terms of area and the most severe record uh, of bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef. Damage done in the last eight to nine months. Scientists predict the northern region could take 10 to 15 years to recover, but it could take even longer if a fourth bleaching event occurs in that period. There is good news. The southern two-thirds have only minor damage, reason enough for tourists to keep visiting. While we did see some impacts of coral bleaching, the vast majority of those corals have all recovered now. So you shouldn't listen to the people out there like Pauline Hanson saying that the reef is all fine. You also shouldn't think that the reef is all dead. Those scientists warn it will get even worse before it gets better. Vivian von Drainen, 7 News.